One day, maybe the new world we were promised will be actually new. One day, maybe the men in charge won't be in charge anymore. <laughs> One day, we can dance in the forest and in the streets and with each other in our rooms that belong to us and only to us. On our beds we share with no one. On our beds we share with no one. Under the moon, under the sun, under the shade of our favorite trees, under the blood and brittle bones of the supposedly strong men who failed us. And when that day comes, it won't matter that we're not supposed to dance. It won't matter that once upon a time, I married a man who made me feel smaller than nothing. And like his shame was my shortcoming. And like his shame was my shortcoming. It won't matter that when you were 16 and newly orphaned, a married man two decades older than you made promises he had no intention to keep and said things in the dark that made you feel like you were made of fire. It will matter that you took that fire and burned him down with it, because that same fire will spread. It will scorch the earth to make room for the new world we deserve. It won't matter that he t told you and told me it was all our fault, each of us, both of us. It won't matter that we let him think he had reclaimed his goodness in the face of death. It won't matter because that kind of currency has been out of date for centuries in our new world. It won't matter because that kind of currency has been out of date for centuries in our new world. Those feelings will be so far away from us by then. At first, we won't remember their names, and that will plague us. Then the faces of those feelings will become blurry, and we'll feel the stirrings of peace. And then we won't remember those feelings at all. We wouldn't even recognize them if they passed us on the street. We'll sleep soundly then. We'll use our fire only for warmth.